minutes after 9 o'clock. It is time to go in the garden with Carol Ann, and your phone calls are an important part of this show, so you'll need the number. It is 622-9622, 622-WOCA. Carol Ann is here for the whole hour, but she does have a special guest today at about four, uh, quarter after or so, uh, and we'll find out together what that's about. Uh, so good morning, Carol Ann. How are you morning, doing? Larry. Real good, real good. Another <laughs> another cool morning overcast. I know, but I think I'm getting used to it. So it like you couldn't, I couldn't have told you it was colder today than yesterday because for some reason I wasn't colder. I, I don't I think it wasn't colder the humidity might be a little different I actually left the house well my about the I'm same just, amount you know okay. clothing. well my thermometer but, said I mean my computer thermometer yeah. said 44 oh see now yesterday, yesterday was 49 oh at the that's, same time okay then it warmed up faster yesterday because yesterday morning they could not drop my delivery until about 7 30 because the temperature wasn't over 40 degrees and it has to be 40 degrees before they can unload plants off of the back of that truck. is that right that's right yeah they have to be in a stable temperature so the truck driver is stalled he's he was actually he took a nap i think yeah, I would too. If I and he him, just right sat on. back and took it. Yeah, I think he took himself a little nap. Um, but yeah, so it was under forty degrees um, at um, six thirty, seven thirty, oh, okay. up until about seven. So it just took longer. So. Yeah, so I think today hmm. the sun hasn't; those clouds haven't burned off yeah. as quickly. Mm-hmm. So but it'll be. It should be a nice day, though. But then I'm hearing the end of the week's going to be really. But we're not going to complain because we complain in the summer it's too hot. So. Oh, not me. <laughs> you like when it's really I hot. I love the heat. Really? Give me the heat any day. But yeah, I can't stand being cold. I have to put coats on and things like that. <laughs> not a good thing. <laughs> but yeah, before, you know, at, at after the 15 minute uh, break here, we do have, uh, the, well, the Orlando Home and Garden Show is coming up uh, on from the 23rd through the 25th of January. And we're going to have, uh, he's Nate the Garden Guru, um, Nate Graboff which I may be pronouncing his name incorrectly, um, going to tell us a little bit about that. So when he, you know, at the bottom of, at the second half of the first half hour. Yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, going to tell us a little bit about that. But right now we're just uh, going through winter. It's the almost the end of January. Can you imagine? I know, I know. It, it's crazy that we're pushing forward towards spring. Uh, if you do spring vegetables and herbs and spring flowers, you want to go ahead and be thinking about getting them started. The seed racks and things like that are coming in. They're into the garden centers. Get your seed starting mix. The difference between a seed starting mix and your potting mixes, seed starting mixes are very light, very fluffy. You Uh can actually take Uh a handful of it, blow it, and it's going to go all over the place. So when you're working with it, be careful. You don't want to breed that stuff in, really. Uh, And your potting mixes are much more... um, water retentive and a lot more earthy than than that and of course then your garden soil is what goes in the ground but if you're starting seeds the little peat pellets um the the peat pots which you would fill with your you know with the the starting mix seed trays things like that to get started on your uh on your vegetables and herbs for spring and well you know and get get going it's almost time favor to ask you yeah I can't see the phone when I'm okay. looking at you. So if right. you see it light up, just let me know. Oh, okay. Because that might be your guest. You oh, never. Right. Well, we know from experience that guests sometimes call ten minutes early. So since we're about right. ten minutes before Hill could be on, it's it's, it's possible. It could be any be. minute. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And we don't know how many radio stations and such that he's talking to. Right. He's, and he's. Uh, I guess he's got a TV program. Apparently so. It like, it's. So. I mean, I can go through and and guess we are getting near there. He's uh, Nate the Garden Guru. Nate. Nate. Grab off. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, <laughs> is a horticultural consultant that provides uh, landscape services to Orlando and Orange Seminole County. Uh, he's a designer, horticulturalist, and project manager, uh, making a difference in appearances and landscapes. But he also, I'm trying to see, I thought, yeah, he uh, does some information with, or gives some garden stuff the garden guru for fox 35 okay okay and that's where he's from so so uh robin just told me that he called the office line and oh, okay. he's been trying to call in but he i guess he doesn't know our uh, our routine is. is this there him right is, here yeah. do, do you want to go right to him right now we can oh i guess we could you know what we can do we can take an early break how about that we'll, okay. we'll take an early break and then uh, we'll be right back this is yeah. the source w-o-c-a ocala <laughs> 
The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident for today. Intervals of clouds and sunshine. There can be a shower along the coast in the afternoon, the high 70 to 74. For tonight, partly cloudy skies, lows ranging from 47 at a few inland spots to 55 on the coast. For tomorrow, partly sunny and pleasant, the high 72 to 76. Thursday, sunshine and some clouds, high 74 to 78. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Hey, it's Chrissy with Ocala Mac and PC Repair and Ocala Guest Wi-Fi to let you know we have you covered. We are the only local certified Apple and Microsoft computer company in Ocala. We are family owned and operated from mobile repair to wireless networks, viruses, new systems, or security cameras. We do it all. Check us out online, OcalaMacPC.com, or give us a call, 352-566-8324. Tell them Nick, Madison, or Mason sent you and get free diagnostic. Get your internet telephone service from the company that brought affordable internet service to Ocala in the first place. All is safe is a sister company of Ocala Guest Wi-Fi, a company you've known and trusted for all your internet needs. Whether you need a phone or hundreds, we've got the products and services to meet your needs both now and in the future. Our plans include everything from local and long-distance calling to equipment maintenance and even software upgrades. You can count on All is Safe to give you cost certainty knowing that your bill will be the same next week, next month, or even next year. Call 352-450-8647 today. Tell them how to cut your monthly telephone bill up to 60 percent. Let's face it, nowadays it can be hard to find American-made products, and that's something that Cabinet Sales of North Florida is well aware of. That's why they're an authorized dealer of Wellborn Cabinetry, family-owned and American-made since 1961. Cabinet Sales of North Florida is your answer for complete turnkey kitchen remodels and whole house cabinetry. Their cabinets are finished with solvent-based enamels for a long-lasting finish that's second to none. Available in an incredible selection of door styles and colors to choose from to turn your dream kitchen into a reality. In-house design and drawing services are available. Come by and see our displays for yourself at the Floors of the Villages, 3935 County Road 216 in Oxford or Exquisite Design Kitchen and Bath in Bellevue, right across the street from the Bellevue Library. So whether you're looking for bookcases, kitchen, bath, or outdoor kitchen, Cabinet Sales of North Florida is your one-stop source of quality cabinets. For a free estimate, call 352-427-2647. That's 352-427-2647. Cabinet Sales of North Florida. All right, just about 14 minutes after nine o'clock it's a rare opportunity for me to be in the presence of two gardening gurus at the same time so this is going to be like uh, when king kong met godzilla or something like that. Uh, you, you have a special guest on the phone so i'll let you introduce him okay we've got uh nate the, nate the garden guru uh nate grab off uh as you're out of uh orange county correct mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, out of Orlando. Yep. All right. Why don't you tell us about yourself? Because I've got a piece of paper here, and I could sit here and read it, but it sounds better coming out of you. <laughs> Great. There you go. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. My name is Nathan. Nathan Graboff. I'm a horticulturist by trade, a master gardener, volunteer, and I got a degree in ornamental horticulture. And I've been in this business for a long time. Um, I've been in the business since 1982, as a matter of fact. Great. Here in Orlando, I've been in the Orlando market for about 26 years or so. And I originally come from New York, so any uh, Northerners, hey, hey. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you, you can learn to garden down here. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was a whole different world when I came down here. It was unbelievable. It was really great. You know, like palm trees, really? Yes. Wow, you know? <laughs> but, you know, it, it's one of those fun things about gardening, and, and uh, you know, I just love to learn more about it and, and that whole thing. But anyway, it's the other thing is, is that, like I said, is I've been in the business for such a long time, and I've been in different avenues of this business. Uh, I just love this stuff. So right now, currently, I'm at Fox 35 News. I'm Nate the Garden Guru for Fox 35 News. Uh, cool. I do a morning show. I do a show on Sunday mornings every Sunday, as a matter of fact. Oh, neat. And it, it, yeah, it's on the, like usually at the 9 o'clock hour, you know, depending if it's breaking news or what have you. But, right, uh, what's going on? Yeah, you know. Somebody, you know, somebody important comes to town, I get bumped, you know. Oh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that, that happens, anyway, you know. The uh, poor gardeners, we get kicked to the side. <laughs> you never, ever get a break. Anyway, I'm just kidding. I'm having fun for you folks. But listen, hey, this weekend, we've got the coolest thing going on. We've got the Home and Garden Show in the Orange County Convention Center. And the Orange County Convention Center is a huge building. Oh, yeah. um, you know, it's just a, it's just you got to just follow the signs when you get over there to uh, to, to find out where the place is going to be. You know, there's different halls. Right. But we got like we got like thousands of square feet of different vendors, all gardening vendors, and uh, you know, all organic stuff, and and uh, you know, the latest and greatest, and uh, and all the kind of different products that we've got. Uh, we've got like you know uh, different kinds of speakers going to be happening too. I'm going to be doing, by the way, my show is going to be at one o'clock oh, on cool. Saturday. Saturday so, at one. 
Saturday yeah, night. Saturday one. I'm going to be talking about uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly bugs. Oh, you those know? are fun. So it, <laughs> if you got a bug that bugs you in your yard, well, I'm the guy to talk to about that kind of thing. So, there you go. But, you know, with, with the, uh, not entomology, but horticulturally, that's right. what I'm going with. But, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, we're going to be just doing like a, like the, uh, the garden thing and it's going to be, um, it's going to be pretty wild. Uh, we got like all kinds of vendors as well. We got vendors with, um, uh, you know, like, uh, yeah, do it yourself kind of things. We got, uh, you know, um, different speakers are going to be coming in too, as well, as a matter of fact. So, uh, we got, uh, you know, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, uh, cause I'm doing it through a piece of paper and my, and my phone on looking to see that there's, um, a lot of difference because it is home and garden of course i'm more onto the garden side like you yeah. but uh so it but it's got um oh i'm trying to see where i'm going through like lighting and yeah. and exterior kind of things i guess i'm sure there's probably pond people i got you yeah you know what actually it, it um on my facebook nate the garden guru facebook okay. you can actually see i posted a video on it so if you guys want to check it out or something and see like what's going on, what the, some of the vendors look like, but some of the other cool stuff that we got, like we're just talking about, it's like a verse type of a, a product line. They got everything from like cooking supplies, to, like cooking pots and vendors and that kind of stuff. They have like uh, this lady, uh, Emily uh, Alan, she's from, they, they call her the retro uh, garden chef. Oh. And she's going to be talking about, like, all kinds of cool chef ideas, like, you know, different recipes and that kind of stuff. And That you can, uh, that you can eat from your garden. Yeah, you know, she might even have samples. I don't know. Cool, <laughs> cool, cool. Who knows? we got another, another vendor, another pe- uh, person coming in, and he's uh, Brian Santos. Uh, Brian Santos is, uh, you know, talking about different types of products out there. Is, um, uh, he's going to be doing the wall wizard. And that's what they call his nickname is. And what he does, he does like faux finishing and that kind of okay. stuff with, if you want to like learn like painting, whatever, they're going to have like a, a seminars on like painting and different types of texturing. Nice. Another one is going to be, uh, one that applies to us is going to be John McLean, McLean rather. And he's got uh, uh, interior designing and how, how things like fit into place. And he's like well known here locally in, uh, in Orlando area. For you know, for doing that kind of stuff, and right. he's like real popular from the Home Garden uh, Network. Network, nice. Uh, yeah, another guy we got is uh, Tony Evans, and he's going to be doing outdoor living, like pottery, and and um, you know how to how to put together like a pool area or or design, you know, uh, you know, different outdoor living. You know, it's really pretty cool. He some of the stuff he starts off with like a blank blank area, and then all of a sudden it just runs with it with pots and plants and all kinds of cool flowers and stuff like that. So that's showing, cool. yeah, showing you what you can do when you're home landscape because the big box stores they just they hand you stuff and you're looking at it going, okay, what can I do with it? And they're showing right. you what you can do. Um, will people be able to buy right from the expo or not? You know, that's a good question. Actually, a lot of the vendors there are going to be having uh, um, product right there to be sold. We got a, a landscape uh, company that's going to be there. They're going to be selling product right out of the out of their booth. Okay. And that's uh, South Seminole, they're called. Yeah. They, those guys are great. He's also another master gardener, as a matter of fact. He's, he was my teacher during my class. Oh, great. When I took the master gardener. Yeah, he's really great. A uh, guy, Jim, Jim Hunter. He's really great people over there. Um, you know, also, you know what, um, they got orchid vendors that are there uh, last year. They had like three or four different orchid vendors and you want to see some really some spectacular cool orchids. Oh, you know, it's like yeah. stuff you look at it, you're like, what is that? You know, right. it's like, wow, look at the colors of that, you know, like that kind of stuff. And pretty yeah, cool stuff. And those kind of orchids are not the ones you're necessarily finding in the big box store. These are ones for true orchid, uh, orchid fans that oh, yeah. are, oh, yeah. are hybrids and crossbred. They're, they're not the, uh, tissue cultured, um, here we'll run them out by the you know the thousands on a regular right. basis. These are the ones exactly that are right. The yeah, beautiful. they they grow them really well. Right. Exactly right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Those are those those are the people you want to talk to. By the way, if you got questions on orchids as well, you know oh, they're sure they're really you know like they they're in the know. You know, yes. and that you know sometimes in the horticulture you don't have to know everything. You just need to know who to go to for everything. That's and right. It's where to people, where to find the information. <laughs> exactly right. Exactly. And you know what? Talk about information is not. We got good old Tom McCubbin coming. Great. He's going to be doing a couple of shows, and he's always great. You know, he's he always he's got all kinds of cool stuff to talk about. You know, uh, well, he, he's going to yeah. be talking about the latest. What I was going to say, him. yeah, he's just if people don't un- know don't know who Tom McCubbin is, he's a retired extension director out of Orange County with the um, his his lawn and garden show out of um, 
What's he on WGBO, I think, out of Orlando? Uh, yeah, WGBO, I think, I think it is. Exactly <laughs> Which I hate, right. to, yep. hate to say, say that real quiet here. <laughs> doesn't come in. <laughs> doesn't come in up here. So. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, anyway, but, so yeah, so they got all kinds of cool. And you know what else they got, guys? Is you know, give it a diverse type of a product that's going to be there because it's so big and there's so many cool stuff going on. Things, you know, things going on. We got like dog training classes. Oh, for those wow. folks that you know, yeah, for those folks who have like a you know challenges with their dogs or or they want to like even adopt the dogs or cats or they have adopted animals uh, there. And then another one is um is that they've got is uh, is wildlife. Oh. One thing in gardening is I love to hang out in my back patio and just watch wildlife. Yes, just enjoy our landscapes. You know, it's 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 part of Mother Nature. You know, yeah. Now, with this gardening, lady, gardening like, for wildlife is is a big part of uh, a lot of the new newer landscapes that people are doing. Right, right. It's really cool. You know, attracting different things and whatever. But they're going to actually have uh, birds of prey. Which they're gonna have the real birds there. Oh, sweet! And last year they had the, they had like real like owls and like hawks and like all kinds of cool stuff to you know like things like you know wow you know it's one of those things that you know you just really look at you know, but uh, you know the, the show is by the way I didn't get it the, the times on the show the times uh, yeah. are gonna be on Friday <clears throat> excuse me I'm sorry on Friday from twelve o'clock until seven o'clock okay and then on Saturday from ten o'clock until seven o'clock. And then on Sunday, it's from 11 o'clock until 5 o'clock. A little shorter hours on Sunday. Sure. It's because, you know, there's a crowd or whatever. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, guys, if you're into gardening and you're into, like, doing a new project to be, uh, you know, heading out to, you know, kind of seeing what's out there, you know, what, like, you know, you get a chance to touch it, feel it, look at it. They got a, a pruning vendor that's out there. He has all the latest kinds of uh, tools that you can use for, like, you know, your gardening. I bought... Right. Um, couple pairs of pruning shears from them from the last show i love them i you know i just love them so but anyway come on down you know i'm, I'm gonna be there like i said it's one o'clock i'm gonna be right. answering questions i'm gonna be there all day actually friday saturday and sunday do you have your own booth do you is. have your own booth there yeah i have my own booth there and one of the things that i'm gonna be doing is i'm going to be promoting um uh, you call it eco smart and what eco smart is is actually it's all organic right uh herbicides and also insecticides right made from herbs and it's really pretty cool. It's a safe product to use, and I got a really cool product demo to do it, and the show and everything. I'm not gonna kill bugs, but you know, <laughs> I got a, you know, I got, you know, I got product there that I'm gonna be showing, and uh, on my, um, on my uh, lecture when I'm gonna be up there on stage is I've got my insect collection, so you guys could actually physically see some see of the some bugs of that I've got. I, I make it kid friendly. By the way, this whole entire thing, guys, if you're looking for something to do for the, for the family, weekend, for the family, it's family friendly everything is family friendly they got kids zone there that the kids just like they don't want to leave you know it's like one of those like <laughs> you know it's one of those Good. things they have a lot of fun there too so. right great it's, also, it's great for all of us you know and it but, sounds uh, yeah, like so, yeah the, the, not just the gardener in the household but you, you know you're getting that you're thinking about that income tax return check coming in and what to do out there in the deck you know, are you yeah. gonna you gonna do the new grill? You gonna build that new deck? You gonna put in uh, another section of garden? You gonna change a landscape? Add a pond? Um, you still got to take in consideration of where the kids' play area is, where they're running and play, and you can get those ideas right out of this. And, right, and exactly talking to right. different, talking to different either manufacturers or the builders or the 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 know-how guys. Um, and, and getting some more ideas instead of walking around, uh, instead of sitting there going, we want to do it, we don't know where to start. This might be a good right. start to help you figure out where to go exactly. from there. And you know what else? Another good thing is, is uh, what some folks will do is, uh, my last show that I just did, uh, what we did was people come in with clippings. Oh, wow. And if they have a problem with their plant material and they just can't figure out what it is or how to fix it or what what's going on or whatever, bring in a piece and not one little tiny leaf, you know, like bring in a piece of it in a plastic bag or something. Right. And some, something tells me that there's gonna be a horticulturalist nearby that'll Somewhere. be able to help us out with identifying the problem or fixing it or telling you what is it, you know, or something. Right. They've got it's a good test for all of us and having a lot of fun that way too. Yeah, it does put a, does put a quiz on you, but yeah, I would suggest if anybody is coming out, whatever you bring in, especially if you think it's a pest or a disease or an issue, put it in a double Ziploc. Yeah, and that yeah. way you're not bringing anything in because I'm sure that there are going to be plants on site that will be bought oh, yeah. and taken home to somebody's landscape or taken back to their nurseries. Um, Good point. You know, Good and point. we don't want to contaminate anything. So if you, you got something, you think it's a bug, think it's a disease, double Ziploc it and keep everybody, 
you know, keep it all safe. And if you and get it and get it the day before and get it just that morning. Don't get it three days. Yeah, you know, don't buy don't get your cutting now and expect a good ID come Saturday. That that's always a rough one. Like what is this, lady? I don't know. It's dead. I don't know. <laughs> I, I I get it on a regular basis. Well, I cut it last week, but I only got over to see you today. And I'm going, okay, it's a stick. Yeah. <laughs> but what's it from? All the leaves yeah, fell off. Well. I don't know. I it's it's a dead stick. So bring me a little oh, more great. information, or even photographs with today's uh, that, you know yeah, smartphones yeah, but, and stuff. But, you can snap off three or four five pictures if you got questions. That also works if you're coming into extension office around you know locally uh mm-hmm. if you can't bring it with you snap some good pictures and and you know even some, you know don't expect these vendors to to take an hour and a half two hours of their time to to redo your backyard for you but right. you know with a couple of nice questions that you've planned out that they can really do some uh some good uh ideas for excellent. you excellent point excellent yeah. point and then you know at the cooperative extension you know, you guys, you got to check out with your cooperative extension. They're the best source of information in our oh, yeah. horticulture world. They're just the best. It's, oh, just, yeah. it's awesome. You know, I use them all the time, and that's what they're there for, you know, literally. So, that, But it's great. It. It's really great. And this, but, yeah, this gathering of everybody, uh, about how many different vendors? I was looking to see if I saw the number of how many vendors, but I'm sure it's it's several hundred of them that will all yeah, be in yeah. one area, anywhere from, like you say, herbs and vegetables and flowers and 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 landscape trees to building that deck uh exterior uh paints landscape curbing um stone and mulch type stuff is all going to oh, be sure. yeah you know, your new outdoor kitchens and things like that and so uh everybody yeah. needs hey guys, to if you go to- if you go to my Facebook, I have a link to the website. Okay. And you can just actually go right to the website. It, that's Nate the Garden Guru is my is my website, also my Facebook. Uh, but if you go right there, you could click onto it, and then you could check out the different vendors because there's a listing of the different speakers, the times, and and uh, you know like what you know the different uh, the time frames and whatever, specifically the directions because you guys are up there, you know. For, uh, maybe sure, get sure. There to get, right to get in. Um, one thing because we are getting close on the time. The hours okay. again are. Oh, okay. The hours again are going to be from Friday, from twelve o'clock until seven o'clock, and from Saturday from ten o'clock until seven o'clock, and then on Sunday from eleven o'clock until five o'clock. And it looks like and guys it, also. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm sorry. I was oh, gonna, I was just going to say an admission. It looks like it's nine dollars for seventeen and up. Correct. Okay. Here's the thing, guys. If you Facebook me, I've got some extra tickets. So if you want to, uh, Facebook friend me, and then I'll, you know, I'm on Nate the Garden Guru, and I'll, I'll try to get you guys some tickets. I'll put you on the will call list or something, or cool. try to help you out. Okay, guys. Sounds but, uh, great. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to meeting y'all. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a great family event that's going on. Horticulture is it, guys. You know, there you know, we're go. we're getting into springtime. The weather's beautiful out here, and. Let's just make this happen. Let's make this a really good year for – make it colorful, you know? There we go. There where, we go. And where is there it again? Go. It's at the Orange County Convention Center, which is right down in Orlando in, in amongst everything. Yeah, it's actually the International Drive area, which is actually Sand Lake Road. Right. So okay. if you guys – if you need to, just you know, just email just, me or something. And go- and, Google it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's exactly. Google it. It's a big uh, building. So. All, right, all right, Nate. Thanks again for being on with us. Guys, thank you very much for having me. Okay, I'm looking forward to meeting y'all. Okay, have a good day. Have a great thank weekend. You. Yep. We'll be right back. Fox News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. ISIS says it'll kill two Japanese hostages unless it gets paid. 200 million to save the lives of your citizens. The deadline 72 hours. The Japanese Prime Minister says the men's lives are a top priority, but refusing to say whether that ransom will be paid. In France today, four suspects are the first to face charges in terror attacks there. An interstate overpass demolition, which police say went terribly wrong last night, killing one person, injuring another when several tons of concrete fell on the road. In the Cincinnati area, southbound lanes of I-75 closed to late tomorrow at least. And the president delivered his State of the Union address tonight. This year's speech, his second to last, will be a statement of vision for his final two years in office, with both houses of Congress controlled by Republicans for the first time since he took power six years ago. Fox Radio's Tanya J. Powers. Fox News. We report. You decide. 
Good communication is key to business, especially when you need to work together with people that aren't in the same office. So what do millions of small business professionals do when it's time to connect with remote clients and colleagues? They use Citrix GoToMeeting, the proven solution for meeting and collaborating online. Now it's your turn to see why. Visit GoToMeeting.com and click the Try It Free for 30 Days button. That's GoToMeeting.com for your free 30-day trial. Go to meeting. Meeting is believing. Never know how. The last time your battery gave out, you were stuck on the side of the road showing the kids new and interesting ways to expand their vocabulary. So before that happens again, come into Napa, pick up a qualifying Napa battery, and get a $10 prepaid Visa card by mail. $10 buys a lot of soap. And with the way your kids are talking now, you'll need it. Conquer the job with Napa Know How. At participating Napa Auto Parts stores. Offer expires 22815. Hey, I'm Gary. And I'm Eric. Did you know that Red Eye Radio is on WOCA, The Source, every night from 2 to 6 a.m., and it's live. That's right. No tape shows here. We know that the news doesn't sleep. And neither do we. So we're here with you live from 2 till 6 a.m. every weekday. Call us, 866-90-RED-EYE. So join me, Gary McNamara, and me, Eric Harley, every weeknight to discuss the latest in news and entertainment right here on WOCA, The Source. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new Yep, truck. we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. Good credits, bad credits. It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com, Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer up charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements, from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. Hi, I'm Leah Caruso with Strive Rehabilitation, inviting you to join me Thursday at 11 a.m. for Health Matters. Ocala Health and Strive have teamed up to bring you the latest information on good health services available to you right here at home. This vital information will help you make informed decisions about your health. So don't forget to join me here at 11 a.m. Thursday. It's news you can use from Ocala Health, Strive, and your friends here at WOCA. Your home is safe. Or is it? AA Lock, Dock, and Security. The name has been a staple in Ocala since 1985. Do you have the right equipment in place to have peace of mind when you are at home or away? AA Lock, Dock, and Security has the right people to install and monitor your home or business. Call today for a free on-site security analysis. Call 867-1965. AA Lock, Dock, and Security. 219 Northwest 10th Street. 867-1965. All right, uh, 25 minutes before 10 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this morning. It's uh, Let's return back to <laughs> Carol Lamb. In the garden with Carol Lamb. I'm sorry, I'm distracted by everything over That's here. That's all right. That's quite all right. Uh, <laughs> get it, get so it so uh, when, when Nate was just on, we went to his Facebook page during the right, break. Right, right. And... Um, He's, yeah, see, see the... Um, yeah, you go through Facebook if you're on Facebook and you search for Nate the Garden. So I liked guru. it. And I did too. He said something about, you know, friend me or something but you know, we liked it so we liked it but uh one of the first posts per page it looks like is the video i didn't uh, orlando fall 2014 tour so it's a video from right, last year because right. uh, you can't have a video of this year yet it hasn't happened yet um and tell us a little bit about him and and on some of the stuff and and actually mentions that he had his inner 
was going to have an interview yeah, on right, the show. Right, right. Uh, two two garden night. gurus chatting. It was yes, kind of interesting. Kind of, yeah. I don't it, usually get that pr- that perspective. It's usually you. You're the only expert. Right, and, right. And this time, well, it wasn't even going back and forth with any plants or anything. No, we, it was about the show. the show. But we had we have had a couple of us together when I've had. Uh, that, no, that's Walheim. true. We've that's had a couple, true. But, and that that's and true. you said the guy. It's okay, not often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not often. But you down on his page though, he talks about the Wakiva bee rescue, and it reminded me of something I wanted to tell you. Right. Um, you know, we went fishing at Robin's brother's place right, some time right. ago, but up in Lottie, the city of okay, Lottie. Right. And he's a farmer. He's mm-hmm. got a like a, got a, whatever, yeah. 20 acres, whatever sure. he's got. And he said, um, we have bees for the first time in, in many years. So right. I, I didn't realize. I mean, I knew there was this big story about the bees. There's Yeah, there's been issues with bees for the last probably 10 years, I'm going to guess, uh, approximately, where they, they have grouped it together into a because they can't come up with one single cause is a colony collapse disorder and that's when suddenly bee colonies just vanish they disappear you know they just vanish um no one there's there is no one reason for it bees are susceptible to many different pests um of their own, you know, that attack them. Like we, we get attacked by mosquitoes. They get attacked by certain mites and things like that that can carry disease, uh, some other diseases that can come in. Also for the, the destruction of, of habitat can be, you know, where there's not uh, the pollens out there. Improper use of pesticides, um, and I say improper because proper use you're not targeting the good guys uh you know wrong you know wrong timing on that kind of thing of when to use them and the wrong pesticides but yeah there's some issues with bees honey bees are not native to the united states so they were imported from europe oh wow back in way back in the day everybody thinks honeybees are american they are not we we raise them but they're not uh i got two phones you do have two phones at once yeah okay well we'll, we can talk about honeybees or anything else so so let's take a call let's see uh this line first good morning you're on the air good morning okay that line went away try this line uh, (laughs) ah there we go there we go hello hey good morning uh, we've had this bit of warm weather lately, and my grass started growing like crazy. Now, the past couple of days, we had a couple of good frost. Right. And everything is turning, but I still have, like, you know, most of the grass is still green. Sure. And it's, I'm wondering uh, if I should go out there and start mowing now or just do what I usually do and go after the weeds because they seem to be the only, tr- well, besides the grass now. Right. They were the only green things around. Right. Um, right now, I know today probably wouldn't be a bad day to, to probably go for some of the weeds, except you got to read your label of how long a spray would need to stay on them. My understanding is at the end of the week, we're getting some more rain and some colder temperatures. So I would probably put off mowing unless it has grown significantly. Uh, Because that top blade at least will will protect that grass that's underneath there for the moment. And once we get through this one, if you think you really need to uh, just sort of top off that grass a little bit. In the wintertime, we usually like to leave the grass a little bit longer just to... um, be able, you know, because of that, because it will help to protect the grass and the and the root zone underneath. All oh, right, and I, I usually don't do anything except maybe the weeds. Right. But with this crazy weather, I don't know. The grass was really starting to grow now. Like my front yard has, you know, green and brown patches. I guess from the the all the frost. And right. The, Oh, really looks sad now. Before it was all brown, so it didn't look too bad. <laughs> didn't look too bad. I would probably wait, you know, if you can wait till after the first, let this cold uh, front pass through that's coming. Um, like I said, the end of this weekend, my understanding, it's, I don't know if it's supposed to be horribly cold, but I know, I think they're saying Friday, it's only supposed to be like a high of 54. So it's going to be one of those really nasty kind of days. Uh, right. And with a, with a rain with that. So if the first part of next week looks like it's going to at least stay you know where where our highs are the 
are 70 ish and the lows are only down into the the mid 40s or something like that i would go ahead and mow it if it if it's looking like it you don't want it to get too low too tall because then when you mow it in the spring you know when you do mow it off you're mowing off a lot all right so all right well i thank you for that that was my my choice even though it looks horrible sure i was going to leave it until maybe next month or so I'd, i would wait till i would wait till next week if it's starting to get pretty shaggy looking or starting to get a little length to it because you don't want it like i said you don't want to take off when you finally do that mow in the spring a whole lot you would rather take some of it off now um if it's starting to you know keep the blade up you know keep the blades up a little uh, bit well i do that all the time yeah (laughs) because in the summer if you cut it down too short it's you uh, you fry it with the heat that's right and and it's both things so it's always best to mow to the proper height depending on your grass variety well, my grass variety is green. There you go. If it's green, mow it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't know. When I, we came here, I had a lot of uh, Bermuda and all that left over, so I just put it all down. Right. Because uh, the sod they put down was uh, more dead than alive. Oh, <laughs> well, that now a lot, sometimes it is depending on the time of the year. It seems to be, but yeah, if you've got yeah, if it's getting tall, I would I would mow it next week. If we get like again the the temperatures like we had earlier this week, you know, uh, we're, like even we're supposed to have today, um, but I would probably wait just and let this one cold front get past. All right. Well, I broke out the flannel shirts. I've been wearing them now for about five or six days. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Don't wait. Yeah, right. it's it's been chilly. All right. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut uh, signing off. Good morning. You're on the air with Carol Ann. Good morning, Carol Ann. How are you this morning? Real good. How are you? I'm good. Hey, I'll make you a deal. What's that? You keep you keep the cold weather away while I'm gone, which I don't think it's supposed to freeze while I'm gone. No. I'll take note. I'll take notes on my show if you take notes on your show. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. All yes, right. I know you. You will. You will regale me with pictures from uh, from Taipei down in Fort Lauderdale. I don't think we'll get cold down there, but I know you got your plants up here. You got to worry about. Well, I don't yeah, think no, we're it's freezing. Not supposed to freeze. It is. It is supposed to rain, but I think they're saying only in the forties. So usually yeah. when I go down to the show, it does do something like that while I'm gone. Oh yeah, always nasty here the end of January and through February. Ugly, so we'll make it through. It is. You have a great weekend. <laughs> you take too. And, and take pictures. Okay. All right. All right thanks. Mm-hmm. Bye bye. Yeah, that uh, that was Sharon. She's uh, well, she, former master gardener, but uh, another another former? gardener. Well, yeah, she, you can she, lose your title. You can, or you can retire. You can leave the organization oh, really? and things like that. Right? Yeah. I if thought you once you had it, you no, were if you for life. It's how you spell it. <laughs> oh, really? If it's with capital, if you are a Florida master gardener, right, you are in good with the University of Florida, and you do continued training and your certain amount of volunteer hours. Capital M means capital M, capital G, master gardener. If you go little M, little G, you're just your master gardener. Um, Jerry wow. Baker, that was actually a legal battle uh, wow. over that year. Well, what ago. are you? Capital? I'm a capital M, capital oh, G. Yeah, because I'm still I still do my my training through extension and. Uh, my volunteer hours. I should use that. Capital R H or What's that? Radio, radio host. host. Oh, okay. Or yeah. just capital or just A. Announcer. Announcer. <laughs> You're the radio guru. <laughs> no, but, I'm not. Can, but, can, we, can, we, can I interrupt you? Sure. I don't oh, mean to, but we have, right. a, have a break. we got to take a break. That's I know. Right. I know your guest, your guest was great. Yeah. But it just threw us but off it completely. Th- it threw us a little bit off. So we'll take a little break and be right back. The phone lines are open, 622-9622. We've got a good, a good 12 minutes when we come back. <laughs> the weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident for today. Intervals of clouds and sunshine. There can be a shower along the coast in the afternoon, the high 70 to 74. For tonight, partly cloudy skies, lows ranging from 47 at a few inland spots to 55 on the coast. For tomorrow, partly sunny and pleasant, the high 72 to 76. Thursday, sunshine and some clouds, high 74 to 78. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. One of the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking. 
will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Cozanet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch planning for a better and safer retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, The Source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Sleep is just as vital to our good health as diet and exercise. And getting too little is going to lead to diabetes, obesity, and heart trouble. We should be washing our hair at least every other day to promote scalp circulation and hair growth. If you wash it frequently, it can trigger dandruff, which leads to hair loss. Would you believe that nearly 2% of all the country's greenhouse gas emissions are a result of people just needlessly warming up their cars? Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. All right. Uh, it's just about 13 minutes, actually, before uh, 10 o'clock. Caroline Baldwin is here. Let's return to Caroline. And you do have a, a caller coming sure. in. Good morning. You're on the air with Caroline. Yes, I was calling about my bugs. I okay. had um, a few sago plants ah, and okay. got some white bugs. And I just wanted to know if they were good bugs or bad bugs. They're bad bugs. Is it covering the, the backside of the leaves? Uh, pretty much all over it. All over it. It's what they call Asian cycad scale. Um, best thing to do, and this is a good time of year to do that, is get yourself a horticultural oil, whether it's Volk oil, uh, neem oil, any of the any of the oils that are horticultural oils. Mix them up. Um, they should have a, a, a mixing rate either for uh, um, for palms or just for your scale and it is sort of a dormant but I kind of go in between this time of year between the dormant and growing season oils uh, or sprays only because of our temperatures being unusual um, spray it to the point of runoff spray all the fronds spray the top of it spray the trunk spray the ground around it um, that will kill the scale that's there it's not and then after that, you may want to go through. I, I wouldn't cut the fronds off yet, only because it's. I, I wouldn't want to throw a flush out right away. Wait a couple of weeks. You can get rid of all of those fronds that are on there and dispose of them. Spray the whole trunk again and the ground around it, and that'll at least knock out what's there. It's not going to prevent it from coming back. Okay. If you, a maintenance thing. Yeah, or you can do um, once you've killed once you've killed the scale that's there. There are systemics on the market that will I will not say totally prevent it, but it will at least slow it down to prevent the uh, ultimate demise of the of the plant because that cycad okay. scale can kill it. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, and that's a, that's a tough one there. You have another phone call. Good morning. You're on the air with Carol Ann. Is this Sky 97? No. No. Good morning. You're on the air with Carol Ann. Yeah, good morning, guys. Morning. See, uh, in the, I have no questions or, or anything today, but a, a little observation here. With You guys are talking about colder weather and all that kind of stuff. Right. But in the, in the, paper, in the paper the other day, they had the, the, the coldest recorded temperature in Florida was in Pensacola, Back in the late, I think it was the 1980s, and it was four below zero. Yeah. And that is only, it's impossible to believe that. In Florida, you know, I, you know, you'd think that, you know, maybe anything below 10 would be, or around 10, but four below zero in Pensacola, Pensacola un unreal. Well, Pensacola is a good ways out there on the panhandle. They're at, uh, Below Alabama, and what yeah. is that? It's about as far west as you can go as in Florida. As you can get yeah. in Florida, right, and still yeah. be in Florida. Uh, well, well, Ocala's uh, uh, record cold uh, low was uh, was 11, and uh, but I don't know what the date on that was. But uh, even that, even 11 degrees here is uh, I mean that could do a lot of damage. Probably. Oh huh? yeah, that does a bunch of damage. We were uh, back in '89, I believe it was. I don't think the temperature yeah. went above 19 for about a well, week, and that, that was that, yeah, that was a cold yeah. one. That yeah, was that was year we, cool. we lost a lot of orange trees, right? Lost a lot of stuff that year because it just got there and got cold, and we're just at that time of year, it was in December, our plants and our landscapes just were not accustomed to the colder temperatures coming through. Yeah. The record high in Ocala here was 105, 
and it, it's kind of interesting. Uh, that's the same record high in Milwaukee, so it can get hot down here. And but but it, it usually never gets. Uh, it usually only in the nineties because right. I believe the humidity is so strong in the air. You know. And then with our with our sea breezes that come across from both coasts, we're protected that way. That helps yeah. as well. Yeah. But I, I was really surprised uh, uh, to believe that you know, you know Florida is Florida. Any way you look at it, you know, in, you know Pensacola is pretty close to the Gulf, if not on the Gulf. But uh, but four below zero, and that is only unreal. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's it's just how high up it is. It's you know just you're so far up, you're not really within that that lower yeah the lower part of the peninsula. So that's yeah. that's where the temperature differences you know can happen for them. Yeah, I, I know since I've been living here in, in Silver Spring, uh, I've got a real good thermometer out on my, my back by the pool, and uh, my coldest temperature that I witnessed here was uh, a couple of years ago, and it was uh, 17 was the coldest I ever experienced in Florida, and yeah. and that and, and it was cold. I mean, the bird bath was solid ice, oh, and, yeah. and the dog water dish was solid ice, and you know it was it was cold. Yeah, we we do, we don't want any more of that. Not any more of that this year. No, no more cold. I, I'm I'm done with it. This is cold enough <laughs> for what we have. Yeah, all, all I can think about now is, come on, Valentine's Day. Let's get out of there. <laughs> Actually, I'll, I'll take, uh, give me uh, St. Patrick's Day. Then I know we're out of it. <laughs> okay, nice talking. Bye. All right. Yeah, um, I know we're running close on time. I was just, Sharon was talking about the show she's going to. is down in Fort Lauderdale. It's the TPI. Ah, no IV. wonder it won't get it's called the, down there. Right, yeah. right. It's the Tropical Plant Industry Expo, and that's the big one. That's the one where... Um, all of the growers that supply plants, tropicals basically, in Florida, southeast, um, possibly across the country, set up their displays and do their big expo. And she forgot to remind me far enough in advance so that I could take the time off of work and go down. Because <laughs> that's, that's one that's far, um, and it is during the week. It's here, uh, I think it starts tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And tickets for that are 30 bucks for the three days. And it's just you're going all the way down to Florida, uh, down to Fort Lauderdale, to the Broward um county convention center and so but you can look it up it's uh if you just look up uh fngla which is florida nursery growers landscape association dot org forward slash tpie it's going to bring it up actually if you look up tpie for you know it'll pop up giving you fort lauderdale okay. yeah that's the one you want uh you can see what's going on and they've got some video from last year and things like that it's a really gorgeous show from all the pictures and everything like that that i've seen so it's another another thing going on this is that time of year i guess especially here in all florida the, right all the shows all the all the different events and it's all also coming up that they these shows are th at this time of year because it is getting ready to break the big spring thing it's what you're gonna see in your garden centers you it's know, what you're gonna see all that new stuff coming by out. by the way when you were talking to nate mm -hmm. the garden guru yeah you were when he were talking about the the wildlife in, yes. your, in your garden right and I'm picturing bears and deer, but I'm thinking you really mean butterflies, don't you? Butterflies, birds. I'm picturing uh, big lizards. animals. So I'm thinking, wow, where well, does he live? But people do. Um, <laughs> actually, people, you know, in, if you're in an area that you have deer or bear that are indigenous in that area, part of your garden probably would be that you know that you're either gardening to keep them from eating it or that they can have some too. You know, if you're planting I would do so they could have some too. So, I mean, as long yeah. as they're not going to hurt me. Right. Wouldn't that be cool? Is he bear come into your yard? I mean, out in the Ocala do you know National anybody that's, that does this intentionally? Not for not to plant for the bear, and I'm not real sure how legal that necessarily would be to plant right What's for the bear's because, like uh, besides picnic baskets well all the berries and things like that <sighs> berries that you, you know uh deer love roses so those who live in deer area probably would should not plant I wonder why they like roses. roses they're vitamin c i don't know they're probably oh. very you know they're tasty we can eat them too but uh moreover we're thinking of the uh yeah, you know, the other kind of you know stuff for you know we we think of them as pretty, but the deer do like them, and and most of the time when you look at at a plant tag, you'll see whether or not it's deer resistant that they they're not apt to eat that, so really? that's why people will plant. And they it. know the deer know. Right. Well, they they've te yeah they, they smell it. They can smell it. They hmm. sense it. They know what's tasty. Is that modified genetically modified? Is that how they no. make it anti deer? No, it's no? just the type of plant is just something that the deer won't eat. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's all it is. See, I think I would do that. I mean, if I had large animals, a large a large area, a landscape, it would it could be that you I leave have cats an area. in my yard. And a lot of people, if you have a large <laughs> piece of property that maybe started out wooded, or even started out real open, maybe you've plant more large uh, trees shrubs things that would be cover for those kind of things um and and that's just how that they you know that you would encourage and allow you know the, those those animals to come in and, and visit a lot of people think of raccoons uh the birds the lizards the snakes the frogs um butterflies those kind of things hummingbirds to come in it's not necessarily for the big the big yeah, well, that's what I figured out. I mean, I was listening to yeah. you two talk, and I thought, wow, what kind of wildlife does he have? Yeah, because then I realized, got, oh, you must mean like yeah, gnats. we're thinking of the small. We're thinking of the small stuff. <laughs> you must that. mean like fruit flies. No, not the fruit <laughs> flies, and not and not the five fingered fungus that can walk through and plant you and and grab your fruit. But that happens too. What <laughs> five finger fungus? It's people's hands. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. So I have a twenty dollar gift certificate to Bob Wines, cool. and it's based on a, a, something you said. Uh oh. So today, Carol Ann had to call her, and you can have the $20 gift card if you can answer the question based on her answer to the caller. And, oh. I'm, and all I need is one word. Okay, one ready? Word? The caller asked about something that was on his Sago Palm. Oh. And you gave a three word answer. Let me see if yes, I took I notes correctly. The first word is the answer that I'm looking for from the caller. Okay. The second word was cyad, and the, and the third word was scale. Am I saying that right? Cycad. Cycad. Yeah. So blank, cycad, scale. What's right. Fill in the blank, and you will get the $20, get the $20. gift card from uh, Bob Wines Community Gardens and Nursery, and the number to call to answer is 622-9622. So somebody, the, the gentleman called had something on his sago palms. You said it was an insect. Yep. And you called it a blank, blank cycad, cycad scale. scale. Okay. So all I got to do is come up with Come up. And it's <laughs> it not that an, hard. It starts, starts with an A. starts with an A. Yes, yep. I, I got that word. And it's, uh, Good morning. What do you think it is? Uh, Asian. Asian is That's right. It. Yeah, very good. And wh what's your name, your first name? John. John, do you know where we are? Yeah. In the mall, okay. Uh, yeah. What's the first letter of your last name? M. John M. M. Mary. John, you've got a, a gift card waiting here for you. If you just come pick it up, it'll be waiting here for, uh, for seven days. You got to get here before seven days, okay? Okay, I'm, I will. Thank you. Thank, All right. Thank All right. you very much. There you You're go. Welcome. Nice. Twenty dollars. Go to Bob Boyle. Twenty bucks. So that's a. So it's cycad. That's cycad, cyan, right? Okay. It's because that's what they are. They're cycads. The Asian cycad scale attacks the sago palms and. Uh, he said John or Bob. John. John. Oh, John oh, M. Jeez. <laughs> John. So this weekend, the, the Orlando uh, Home and Garden Expo down at the Orange County Convention Center, or if you're real adventurous and you're going down to Fort Lauderdale, you've got t uh, TPIE, which, uh, it, you know, that's at the Broward County Extension Center. And I guess we have Sounds like also, a fun tri day trip or whatever. Yeah, that would, that'd be an overnighter, I'd overnighter, say. Overnighter, yeah. Um, and then, of course, you've also got the, the medieval fair starts this weekend. Too. Oh, right, right. So plus you've got the golfing the, girls, plus don't forget. The golfing girl, you've got all kinds of stuff going on. Are you a golfer? No. No? No. I chase little little white balls across the grass now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, no. Well, I guess we're out of time. Out of time today? Different kind of a show today. It was. And fun. It was. Something unique. All right, well, we'll see you next week. So. Catch you next week, everybody. Keep gardening. Are you going to that garden show? Uh, I may try to might get try. down to Orlando. All right. Yep. We'll, <laughs> we'll be right back. Thank you, Caroline. Thanks, Larry. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA. Okay.